Hi, this is Shashi Saluna, and today I'm going to be interviewing Ohad Pele, who I always find fascinating to talk to, maybe because he used to be a Kabbalistic rabbi and at some point had a spiritual sexual awakening and at this point started to move more into sacred sexuality. He is now one of the lead facilitators of ISTA and part of the wisdom circles there, as well as being an author of a fantastic book, Kadesha. And so um, I'm bringing him here to chat about his course, which uh, we have here on Live Tantra. So let me just bring him in. Hello. Hi, Ohad, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So there's so much we can chat about and um, I love to dive into deep conversations with you. But today I really wanna focus on your course that you have. Uh, which is on the Kabbalah of love. Yeah. So for those who have jumped in here, like, oh, this is Tantra, they might be thinking, what's what's all this about? Can you just ex just briefly tell us what, what this, where this tradition came from and, uh, and, and maybe a little bit about how it's teaching us about love? Yeah, well, the, the adapting of Tantra is con the connection of everything, that everything is connected. So everything meaning also in some ways the depth of other traditions um, in the world, other spiritual traditions, uh, because we're all human beings. So in different traditions, uh, different people came to similar conclusions, but they have different points of view to look at that. So it actually really enriches uh, one to look at the same issues sometimes from different perspectives. Kabbalah um, is uh, an ancient tradition that uh, came from the Middle East, uh, was kept mainly by the Jewish tradition, but it's actually uh, the mystic tradition that is more ancient than the Jewish religion itself. It's kind wow. of was keeping itself undercover in some ways through the centuries in Jewish religion, but it comes from much more ancient times, of course, with development and, and all that. Mm -hmm. um, the Kabbalah of love is, um, I would say, a, um, a, a path in Kabbalah because Kabbalah itself is really, really uh, rich and has a lot of aspects. Uh, but what interests me uh, as a human being is how to live love in deep meaning and how to, I would say, let, make love with God, goddess, um, or let, let, let the divine make love through me. So this is teachings about sexuality and intimacy or just a kind of spiritual experience with the divine or both? I would say both. It's about uh, sexuality and intimacy, mm -hmm. uh, but sexuality is not only penis and vagina thing. Um, right. So the real sex in Kabbalah is like something that you live all the time. You actually live making love uh, with the divine, but also through yourself, through your body. It's a different approach to the body itself and the relationship between body, soul, spirit, and also with your partner or partners. Um, mm. Yeah. And are there practices or meditations or it's more of an understanding or a bit of both or? There are also uh, meditations and some practices that uh, I send uh, people. Ev every class is like 15 minutes, something like that, 20 minutes sometimes. And at the end there is like, okay, go practice that, go try that. And, and if you do that, it will really be a life changing because uh, even little things, when you do them from a different perspective, um, can really change the way you engage with life. You know, your life, my life, is basically the way I engage with life. Mm -hmm. The way I move in the world and the way I see the world is my world. So once you change your glasses, so to say, your the perception, perception of senses and the way that our consciousness is connecting the dots, your life is changing, your world is changing. You live in a totally different world. Mm. Even though so, it, it's, uh, it is practical, I would, that's what I wanna say. It, mm -hmm. it, it's practically changing your life. 
<laughs> so what what changes would people be looking for so if if where would, where might somebody be in their life and this course would just show up and and help them through what kind of people what kind of place in life they might be first of all i want to say it's for all people like it's yes it comes from you know the jewish tradition and i'm a former rabbi but part of the thing that made me move out of the of the rabbinical path is like I want to talk with all human beings, men, women, gay, straights, you know, Jews, non-Jews. I don't care. It's like for really, really anybody that their heart is uh, has a spark, a live, a living spark of of uh, yearning for depth um, and yearning for something that is beyond the just like the slavery of of, of life, uh, even if it's a nice. Uh, slavery. Uh, <laughs> so people who feel like they want, they're they're longing for a, a change, a shift, looking for more depth, more meaning. More depth, exactly, more depth, more meaning in every day's actions, um, mm -hmm. and in love making, and in the way you do relationships, mm -hmm. and in the way you perceive your own body. Um, there, there are two models. If I might say if I can say in in the the course is divided to two different modules. The first module is just giving, uh, going through the kabbalistic tree of life, but from the Kabbalah of love perspective, which is very different from you know many people studied uh, something about Kabbalah, but they studied it from different perspectives, and this is a, a unique perspective that comes from uh, a path uh, in Kabbalah that I took for many many years. Uh, the Kabbalah of Love. The second module works a lot with how to embody those teachings, mm. how to bring spirit into body. Mm -hmm. So not only really concepts, it's actually how to bring this into reality, how to walk your talk. Mm. That it's not just spiritual concepts at all. And the concepts are not interesting for me if they're just if they're just theoretical yeah. and can you give us like a little like, glimpse i know there's a, so much to this course it's really jam-packed but like i don't know like just so somebody can have something tangible let's imagine somebody you know they meet they meet people here and there they they have sex for a while gets a bit boring relationships they run out what's going to change for them like how how can it look uh, sexually and intimacy and relationships, what kind of shifts might happen for people? Yeah, well, that's a great challenge to do something in, a, in, in some seconds, but <laughs> the way you, you meet a person in this tradition is that you meditate uh, so I meditate now when I'm talking with you, I'm talking with you, Shashi, but I'm totally aware that I'm also talking with the divine through you. And now because so you have a spark of the divine uh, in you, but the, the teaching in, the, in this uh, Kabbalistic uh, uh, path is that the divine has no sparks, has no uh, parts. It's like a hologram, so there are no you can't break a hologram if every little spark has the whole thing. So when I'm talking with you, I'm not just talking to a little part of God, I'm talking to God. So there is a reverence that you know it, it affects my heart in the way that I relate to you. Um, I'm not like okay, you are just like a, a human being, but you know, all my reverence is for, for God, God is for the divine. It's like the divine is here, and when I hug you, I mean, now we're in Corona times and, and everything is through screens, but when we meet each other, um, this has to be really effective in the way that I meet you, that I meet you with, with reverence and, and respect um, and the love and the passion also. Meeting God is, or goddess is not like a only standoffish, actually it's like I want to merge with the divine. I want to merge with the divine. And the divine is, also in Kabbalah, the divine is in lovemaking constantly. Uh, <laughs> the realms are, are in constant lovemaking. Otherwise, no 
no uh, energy would flow into the world. The world is being created every millisecond. And the creation itself, the energy is coming from lovemaking. It's like a, a life that is being born. So lovemaking has to be happening all the time in the divine realms. So, you know, it can be just ideas, but when I actually live this, and when I come to you with this in my eyes, it, it changes a lot. And <laughs> we're talking about right, left, and middle. In, in Kabbalah, the, the tree of life has the right, left, and the middle. And uh, in a very simple way, the right way is, is love and connection. Like, I want to connect with you. I want to feel one with you. The left one has to do with boundaries and respect. So, yes, I want to be one with you, but I also want to respect you. And I, I know the, the boundaries between us. That's the left. And it gives freedom. That's the opposite uh, that people maybe sometimes don't understand. When I actually respect you, I give you the freedom to be who you are, and I give myself to the freedom. And then the center point, the center line, is authenticity. Mm. Being totally authentic and uh, transparency, authenticity, um, integrity, everything that's like a middle line. Mm -hmm. So again, we can relate to our bodies and the way we walk in the world, like, you know, right, left, right, left. It's like love, respect, love, freedom, love, freedom, and the middle line of like, I want to be in my authenticity and my alignment with the divine force. Um, and uh, it, it's kind of living in a vulnerable yet powerful way of, of life. And like Martin Buber said, a life that has meaning is a life of meeting, of an encounter. Ah, Meaningful yes. life is a life of encounter. Uh, mm -hmm. And Martin Dugo based his philosophy on uh, on the Hasidic uh, thought, on the Kabbalistic thought, the, the path of love in Kabbalah, which is the Hasidic mm -hmm. thought. Um, so that's actually the core of that. What's happening wow. in the encounter between us? I love it. That's fantastic. I can see so much uh, richness in there that applies to relating not only intimately, but with everyone in our lives. Yeah. but especially with intimacy and lovemaking. Wonderful. Yeah. I just want to conclude by saying that uh, I heard someone talking about your course as an amazing opportunity to study with uh, an ex-rabbi, a true master, and yet someone who's so open. You're so open to sexuality and intimacy. And so it's a very rare opportunity. And I thought I would say that as uh, you're unlikely to say that about yourself, right? <laughs> Thank you. I, what I can say about myself is that it took me <laughs> consciously uh, decades to take really complicated concepts. The Kabbalah, you know, I didn't study Kabbalah in English. I studied in Aramaic and Hebrew, of course, and it's like ancient Aramaic. And, and everything is super complicated. And it took me <laughs> decades to simplify it to but without losing the depth mm. my, my mission in this is like can i actually offer you the essence of this wisdom so even if you don't know hebrew you don't know aramaic you don't you don't have all the references that we love as, as rabbis and kabbalists we just love the references <laughs> and take this off what is the essence of the medicine that uh, i can offer that that makes me alive and and i love that Amazing. So you've done so much hard work so the rest of us can just shortcut and get straight to the juice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love it. Thank, Thank you, you so much for sharing about this Thank wonderful you. course. And for those that are listening, if you, I'm sure by now you're like, wow, I want to try this out. Uh, have a look for the link that will be connected with this video and you can mm -hmm. check it out for yourself. So thank you so much. Thank Super you, Chelsea.